interactions. You know, some of us are in the army, we are so, so, so busy. Like this is the first time I've ever seen this place. You people need to introduce me to Kampala. I don't know Kampala at all. <laughs> I am like a, like a foreigner in this, in this city. I was saying, are we in Dinda? We, where are we? So, we, all we know is the bush and the barracks. That's all. That's all. That's all. From year to year. Either you're in Karamoja, or you're in Muhoti, or you are rushing to Gulu. That's our life. Before you reach Gulu, they say, no, there's, you have to jump on the plane. Something is in Somalia. You go to Mogadishu. Actually, I used to tell, when I used to, when I used to go to, uh, I used to tell the commanders in Mogadishu, I used to say, this is my holiday now, Mogadishu. At least one week of no phone calls. Because Uganda, your phone never stops ringing. So that's our life. Uh, I thank President Museveni for my uh, the commander in chief for giving me an opportunity to discover Kampala. Now maybe I'll, I'm going to see more of Kampala. You have seen me dancing twice today. It has never happened in life. I never dance, never, never, never. But today I've danced twice because I'm happy to be with my people, with my generation. Team chairman, they are amazing people. They are amazing people. And, and the other teams, all, all of them, Revolutionary Guards and, uh, and uh, Avengers and Original, there's, there's one called Original MK Army, then there's MK Army, so we still need to get the name sorted out. <laughs> but uh, they are all great people. There's been some kind of confusion that these groups are anti-government or they are trying to challenge government in some way. Never. How? How? <laughs> Me, I call them self-defense groups. Self-defense groups. Because people in, in Kampala had been so intimidated by the, by the opposition that they formed these groups for self-defense. And you can see how, as they were saying themselves, how the situation has improved for, for our, our, our young people our young supporters in, 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 in some of these urban areas. Um, I want to and I think the reason they are, they are so they are, they are so uh, effective is that they have the correct, the correct ideology. Their the, the ideology as we used to say in the, in, the, in the military, they are ideologically correct. They know where this country came from, they know where it is, and they know where we need to go. That's why they are such a positive, positive force, and we must all support, support them. You cannot say, Uganda should be a, a, a colony again, and that's your ideology. You've seen them. They have been talking about social media. Somebody comes and says, the colonizers were better than you. Than you. How can you say that and you, you, you call yourself a Ugandan? The colonizers were better than your own government.
So these people have a correct ideology, and that's why I'm very happy to be associated with them. And I think they're doing a great job, and we, we should continue to support them. I will conclude by th once again thanking my dear wife. Please, Charlotte, stand up. Today, today we have we have really tortured these women. We have kept them up since 6 a.m. Me and uh, and General Mhanga, the whole day, they have not uh, they have not sat they have not uh, relaxed. They have been moving with us in in our programs. So I thank her. I thank her first of all for our journey together, which, which started. 23 years ago, because me, I, I, I formally joined August 14th, 1999. August 14th, 1999. I, we had just gotten, we had been married for three weeks. And the next day or two days, I was on an aircraft to Sandhurst. So we didn't even have a honeymoon. We just we went straight into into that life. But she has been with me, very, very strong supporter. She has, she, she, you see she's a very quiet lady, but I can assure you, when we get home and the door closes, then, <laughs> then she really becomes a five, a five star general and I, I, I have to. I have to be very, 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 <laughs> very respectful. So, gentlemen, you have kept my wife up long enough. I, I, I urge you to allow us to end. This, well, at least to allow me to go before I get real problems at home today. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now that uh, President Museveni has given me a chance, and as my fellow uh, fellow commanders were saying. I am, I am somebody who's very passionate. I was very passionate about the army. You all saw me. I used to call them my soldiers. People would say, why are you calling them your soldiers? They are not, no, it's because I love them. I love them. If a commander says, the nation's soldiers, that means <laughs> you're not taking responsibility for them. A commander is like a father of his soldiers. You can't say, you say my children, you say the children of the, of, of, of the home. How, how do you call your own children? My children. So, um, that, that passion I intend to transfer into dealing with the youth now in this country. If, 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 uh, if they give me that opportunity, I'll be very happy to, to work in that way. And I think we can make a very positive change. Now, the, the, I just wanted to give you an, 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 an analogy, an example, okay. <laughs> 